Hello friends, in this video we are continuing our remaining part of our previous video. First of all change it into layout view, then go to change layout and make it landscape if it is in portrait. The inner frame you can expand it inside the outer frame and the outer frame is the outline of an A4 paper. Then go to insert and insert north arrow. Place it at the top. Then again insert the legend. Then next. And it takes time. In this video we are making a grid map. I had already made a video on how to make a zoom in map. You can find it in my channel. And today we are making a grid map. It takes so much time. Have patience while doing this. then next again next and then finish you have your legend now place it in right corner and go to right click and convert to graphics and again right click and then on group then again right click and again on group now you can change the specific one you like you can delete or you can add or you can edit but only after ungrouping two times if you don't ungroup then it will delete it will all delete for editing the specific double click on that if you want to change the place then select all and then right click and group it now you can move it then again insert and insert a scale bar You can change the unit of the scale bar.
select this scale bar and place it below the map Click zoom to layer if you if you feel your map is small. You can click on the hand sign if you want to move the map, and then again in the arrow. Adjust them yourself. Then go to insert and insert text. Type your topic, anything. Here I'm writing zinc content in Lamahi. If you want to change other things, then go to change symbol. Then select the style you like and then bold and you can change the size then OK then apply and at last at last OK Then for making grid, right click on the map and go to properties and then go to grids. Then click on the new grid. Here you can see different types of grid. You can select the one you like. Here we are selecting measured grid. And it will show the picture on the left side. Then next. We are selecting grid and labels. You can see how it looks. Then next. Then finish. Then apply and OK. Now your grid is ready. One last thing to do, go to insert and dynamic text and select coordinate system. You can see there the coordinate system, then double click on that and find 
one and select all below that and delete apply and ok and remember only up to one place it the way you want and the grid, grid map is ready then for saving this we have to go to file and export map if your map is finished then always export if it is not then save save it in je jpeg now our map is converted into a photo you can see it and our final map is ready Thank you.